Hi, welcome. So you are about to embark on a journey with me. I have stress incontinence when I cough, sneeze, laugh, jump, and um, I'm postmenopause, and so I am starting to experience a lot of vaginal dryness and overall discomfort. And so I have decided to um, get some treatments done. I've got, I am going to have the O shot, the G spot shot, and Thermo Eva um, heat treatment to my vagina and um, urethra area to help with um, urinary incontinence, stress incontinence, and sexual health. So enjoy watching. So, what are you about to get done? Woo! Well, I'm about to get plasma-rich platelets injected into my vagina and into my all around my intimate area um, for two reasons. One, for to renew sexual sexual health, relieve some incontinence. Hmm. So, are you nervous? Um. Well, I mean, it's kind of like getting a pap smear. I really don't like people down there. Except for you, maybe. Um, but that's that's about it. I mean, I'm, I'm very hopeful. I'm postmenopausal. The sense of urgency to go urine is starting to get annoying, and and then I have the usual what they call stress incontinence, which is like the sneezing and coughing, um, which are laughing or jumping. <laughs> so I'm hoping for major improvement in that area. And then just the postmenopausal uh, feeling like things are drying up down there. I'm really, I'm hoping it renews that. So, mm. uh, yeah. All right. Well, here we go. So you just got out of your procedure. How you feel? It was uncomfortable. I don't know if I have an issue with just not numbing right, um, but I felt everything, and <laughs> and now it's unthawing like the numb it the, the so I mean it did work it did numb it but I did still feel pricks but that is starting to wear off and it feels like I'm having an achy period hmm. so um, you know I'm not cramping up in my stomach area or up in there in my abdomen or down low where you would with normal cramping it's not that kind of but I do have like I don't know maybe I'm the only woman which I doubt had like your actual vagina would ache when you were on your period. That's what I'm feeling right now. My mm. vagina is aching. But I had two, I actually had three different treatments. I had the O shot, I had the G spot, and then I had the circumference of the vagina and the urethra targeted with the plasma rich platelets. And that's with my stem cell and that's supposed to help rejuvenate and renew all of that for um, stress incontinence and sexual health. And then I had the Thermavia, which I think I'm saying that wrong, but it's basically like this heated, it's also supposed to strengthen the vaginal walls, which helps with incontinence, stress incontinence, when you cough, sneeze, laugh, jump, run, I don't know, sit down too hard. <laughs> mm. um, that, yeah, so I'll keep you informed on on um, you know, I'm supposed to see immediate effects from the Thermavia, but the the O shot that stem cell begins to go to work and continues to work for up to three months. So um, I'll keep you posted. All right. Okay, so this is me one hour post. But how I'm feeling right now is just slight burning, just a slight burning sensation. The last time it was, you know, things have happened down there. So I'll keep you posted on the rewards of all this. So thanks for watching. It's been three hours post my plasma rich platelet injections in my vagina and for stress incontinence and sexual health. And so I just wanted to give an update on how I'm feeling down there. And it, I'm trying to think of a description that most other women would relate to that's actually not 
an exaggeration because as I was walking down the hallway of the hotel with my husband, I said, it feels like there's a hot curling iron stuck up there. Well, that's an exaggeration. And then I came up with flaming tampon. I think that's an exaggeration too. Um, post birth, maybe close to a description. And then I thought of another one, a tampon with cayenne pepper. But then I realized that most women wouldn't relate to that. But I do a lot of cayenne pepper scrubs on my body and oils to help increase circulation. So that's a relevant um, description to me. But overall, I'm a little uncomfortable, um, but not unbearable. So anyway, that is my three hour post update. Good morning. This is my morning after update. So real quick, I'll tell you how it went on for the evening. So I um, had some continuing burning. I ended up putting ice to have an ice pack and that really, really did help. Um, as far as into the night, I didn't have to even get up and go pee. And the best news of all is when I did get up and go pee this morning and stand up, I didn't feel that heaviness. And when I went to go to the bathroom, with a full bladder, I was able to stop my stream um, several times. I mean, so I, I couldn't do that anymore. I could not stop my st stream, so it's very exciting. Good afternoon. So this is my 24-hour post O-Shot G-Shot Thermavia treatment, and I'm still feeling some mild sensation, some mild discomfort. Um, I would say that the results that I'm experiencing right now is about 50% improvement um, on my stress incontinence and I have sneezed three times and did not leak a drop. And that is amazing. Okay, so here is my 48 hour update post treatment. So today um, was a travel day. I had a couple of flights to get home and um, Overall, from the moment I got up this morning, I felt a little bit more tender around my urethra area, and um, it kind of actually felt like I had a UTI, a urinary tract infection, beginning, um, but I, I know that I don't. Um, I believe that what I'm feeling is just the inflammation from the treatments that I had. Um, you know, they, there were several shots um, in that area, and I think I'm just feeling the post-treatment inflammation, um, even if it's as simple as just a small needle aspiration or needle, um, you know, there's going to be some inflammation involved, and that's a very sensitive area, so that's how I felt. I had a sense of urgency with that feeling of needing to pee all day long. Um, but I didn't have any leakage and I did sneeze and cough a few times today. And so that is amazing. Um, I am continuing to be able to stop my stream of urine and I'm actually doing that on purpose. Um, that's a really good exercise that you can do. Um, and so I have, um, been really upping my kegels. I started the night after the treatment, I started, you know, doing those contractions and actually feeling like I could make a stronger contraction. Now that the scar tissue has been broken up, it's time to um, rebuild the muscle since it's not being strangled by the scar tissue and the, the overproductive fascia. So, yeah. So that's my 48 hour update and I'll keep you in tune on how things progress. Thanks for watching.